came from the airmen. We had an event here at the base where they heard about some of our Air Force history, but it was being communicated to them third hand rather than first person. And they made a request of me, sir, could we bring out these Air Force heroes to the base so that we can hear their story firsthand? And then that was the genesis of Heritage Day. The main goal right now is to try to keep growing and growing it as we go and try to get as many World War II veterans as possible and then go for from there, from the different arrows after that. Any airman could come out regardless of the rank, but the main target is actually the E5 and below. So what we try to do is bring them into that heritage and that tradition that the Air Force is so enriched with and let them know a little bit about it. Last year, I was able to find a B, a Lieutenant Colonel B. Hansen. He came out and he's never seen the F-15, S-16. He's never seen those aircrafts in flight. He's never seen the instruments that, that they now are equipped with. So he was thrilled. They get to see how we have evolved as well as we get to see from where we evolved. I want to make Fresno an Air Force town. So rather than just keep this heritage event to the 144th Fighter Wing, we're expanding it now to include all of these other Air Force and community partners. It's important that we know who our heroes are and who the individuals are that made the Air Force what it is today. This year we're bringing out General Earthquake Titus, distinguished Air Force veteran, three-time distinguished Flying Cross hero, uh, three MiG kills in Vietnam, test pilot, I mean, truly great American. So help us continue the tradition. Be a part of our team. Help bring this history to life for the airmen of the 144th Fighter Wing.